Hey, I'm Mike Oz from Yahoo Sports. This is Latroy Hawkins, and we are going to open some old baseball cards. Listen to these fans. The 0-2. Swing yes! and a miss, strike three. All right. Hawkins strikes out the side on nine pitches. All right, Latroy, we got some 1983 tops that you chose, some 1999 Fleer Ultra. You played a long time, but you did not play in the, night in the 80s. No, I was just about, <laughs> about to turn 12 years old when that, that pack was created. Before we get going, uh, talk about why we're here today. Still Got Game Foundation, you're a big proponent of this. Why, why does it matter to you? Still Got Game Foundation is a bunch of like-minded individuals, athletes and businessmen, promoting you know, volunteerism, education and social change and you know Melissa Prosad I thought this would be a great idea and she's been doing charitable work her whole life and it's a perfect collaboration between you know athletes and business business minded guys to get back to the game of baseball. Well something we can all get behind and uh, I think we will find some guys in here realistically sure who still so. got game. Uh, you I'm want going 83. You want the 83s? I might be in that pack so I'm going to go 83. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to get yourself huh? All right. Nah. Let's we'll see what you got. 1983. I will. I will warn you. I feel I bad you. opening this up since it's so old. That's a pretty nice pack of cards, and I think it still has gum in it. So be warned oh, that that gum is. Okay. These are, these are. I, for me, open for up my money, too. some of the nicest looking cards of the 80s. They are. They are very open nice. Open it up pretty nice. Yeah. We'll tape that back if we need to. <laughs> we don't. We do not tamper with the cards, folks. Whoa. Okay. Bert Hooten, I know Bert. You know Bert? Yeah, I know Bert. How do you know Bert? He's a pitching coach in the Astros organization. Rick Manning played here in Cleveland. Darrell Thomas. You know him? Or was that no. Just a, that was just an inflection. Tom Brunaski. <laughs> I know Brunaski. Tell, tell me about Tom. Great dude, played with the, with the Twins, hit some bombs, had a cannon. He still comes around the organization from time to time. Nice. Jim Gatner, played with the Brewers. We love him over there in Milwaukee. Great. Uh, I love the Bre I love that Brewers logo. And this guy right here, Big Tim Starter from East Chicago, Indiana. Grew up about less than five miles from me in Gary, Indiana. He's a legend. He's the only guy to win a World Series and an a NCAA basketball national championship. Big Tim Starter. Were there, were there a lot of players from your area when you were a kid to look up to? We had Tim Starter, um, Wallace Johnson, Farmer Brothers, Mike Farmer, Kenny Lofton who I'm here with today. Well, wow. Lloyd McClendon, legendary oh, Lloyd yeah. McClendon from Gary, Indiana. So I had a uh, Ron Kittle. So we had a few guys, they're a little bit older than I am, but I definitely looked up to them but because that's a, I but wanted that's to a, play. But that's a good pull then, that's a good. That's a great that's a good card we just got. I've never right. had a All right. Tim Starter card. Good, good, good. So we got Gary Carter. R.I.P. He was a bad boy, rest in peace. Mike Morgan, a former teammate. Mo Man, how you doing? Me and Mama. You were, you were on this 80s pack, man. You were like, oh, you yeah. wanted it, and then you got a bunch of guys. Mike Morgan went straight to the big leagues, I think, out of high school as a pitcher for Oakland. That doesn't happen that often. Mike Morgan, man, especially not today. Paul Householder, don't know him, but he was a big leaguer. That's quite a name, man. <laughs> yeah, but he was a big leaguer. Jack Picanti. He's all tops. So my last like four years, no, five years of, well, from 2010 to 2014, Tops didn't do a car to me. Really? Like I didn't even exist in the major leagues. So in spring training in 2014, that was the last, last picture I had to take for, for Tops. So I told him, I was like, why y'all taking the picture? I've been in the big leagues for the last 15 straight years and y'all stopped doing a car to me four years ago. What, what are y'all doing? The photographer was like, I have nothing to do with it, but I can, get, I can get somebody on the phone that has something to do with it. And he called the guy from Tops, and the guy apologized and said, we'll put you in our All-Star Series and after All-Star break. They sure did. Oh, but I had go. to call them and tell them, <laughs> you got these kids coming up, they never, might not ever sniff the big leagues. I've been in the big leagues for 15 consecutive years. And, and I had to call them and tell them. Yep. Now what you got? Show me All what right. you're working with. 1999 Upper Deck. So you said, conceivably, you'll be, you could be in here. It's a possibility. Andy Bennis. Evansville University guy. Is it? Yep. All right. Him and his brother. Alan Pedro. Andy. Pedro Martinez. Nice. That's, that's a good picture right there. Dante Bichette. Oh, the Blake Street Bombers. I say this often, but Gary Sheffield was one of the scariest guys to me. Like, It was very scary if you're playing third base. <laughs> <laughs> 
because you couldn't throw a fastball past him. One of, one of my one of the players I enjoyed. That, I don't even I don't know who he was playing this long. Eric Davis, man. Eric Davis was the man. The triple threat in the in the late '80s. Paul Canerco. Canerco. We spent a lot of time going against each other. That's funny. They got him in a Cincinnati Reds uniform, and I only remember him from the White Sox. <laughs> I don't remember him from the Reds either. So was this? Yeah, that had to be right, right in the beginning. Early on, or right in the beginning. beginning. The Dodgers year before that. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Drafted by the Dodgers. Uh, Daryl Kyle. DK. RIP. DK. You're talking about a curveball. They say you can hear the seams on this curveball. Michael Tucker, the Braves. Michael Tucker. And a very young Bartolo Colon. Oh, it's a skinny this is, Bartolo. This is the not not quite the very beginning, but it's I mean this is you know two years in. The skinny right. Bartolo here in that. here in Cleveland. Skinny Bartolo. Let's make a deal, man. What strikes your fancy in here? What do you what do you like? I'm going Daryl Kyle first. You want the Daryl Kyle? Yep. What do I like? What do you want? I don't I don't I don't I don't want to take. I don't away have your a lot guys. of pitchers. Yeah, I don't want to take away your guy that, that you liked from your. Tim Starter. I don't I don't want I don't want to do that to you. I'll give him uh, up for Daryl Kyle. Well, no, I'm saying I don't want to. I, okay. That's I I. I Mike Morgan. I, I like Paul Householder just because I like the name. Okay, there you go. Trade a pitcher for an outfielder. All right. You you want to make more than one deal? You, you sound like you were gonna start. I, right, I can right. will and deal with the best of them. Let's go. <laughs> uh, what else you got in there that it uh, might be interesting? Um, let's see. I got Rick Manny can swing it, but I'm gonna give him up here in Cleveland. 263 and he hit some bombs. He hit 35 in his career. For the for the Total. for the good of the All Star game. I will make you a, a Rick Manning deal. You liked Andy Bennis, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yeah, you want to do that? You don't like any pitching. You're trying to get all hitting. And I like pitching. I'm, I'm good just, pitching stops know, good hitting. I'm, I, I'm not yep. looking at team composition here. I'm just looking for... The Evansville boys that, from That's your people, Indiana. man. Indiana. I'm trying to make you... I'm have, stacking up the Indiana guys. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help you out here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to trade my buddy Brunaski since you like hitters. <laughs> I'm not giving up Gatner. Gatner can swing it. I'll give you uh hit I got, bombs, I got though. a lot of good hitters that I don't want to trade to you. I don't want to give you Eric Davis or Gary Sheffield. No, I don't want those guys. But you like Darren Dante, Lewis. No, I like Dante Bichette. You like Dante Bichette? I like Dante Bichette. Why do you like Dante Bichette so much? It's the way he used to hit home runs and the, right. the bat used to get hot in his hand. He used to let it fly. And they got a cool nickname, the Blake Street Bomber. Yep, I yep. like that. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Three trades we have done on the show. With Troy Hawkins, good time, man. Oh, you're gonna check it out. He looked like a dude. Look at that picture. He looked like I like I just hit four home runs. What'd you do today? The That's first rocket he ever hit for the cycle, June the 10th, 1998. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Had you. A good time. Have a good one. All right.